Hello and welcome. My name is Eddie Ambler. In this demo, we will go through configuring automatic backups for a database on a VMDB system using the OCI console. When you create a DB system, you can optionally enable automatic backups for the initial container database. This demo will show you how to configure automatic backups after the container database is created. To begin the process of configuring automatic backups for a database VMDB system, open the navigation menu. Click on Oracle Database, then click on Oracle Base Database VM. On the left rail, validate that the compartment selected is where the DB system that we will be configuring automatic backups for resides. From the list of DB systems, click on the display name of My Demo DB System, which is the DB system we created in a previous demo. This will bring up the DB system's details page. Note that the state of the DB system is shown as available as depicted by the green icon on the upper left of the screen. Scroll down to see a list of databases on the DB system. For our demo, we will select My19C CDB as the database for which we will be configuring automatic backups. This will bring up the database details page. Note that the state of the database is shown as available as depicted by the green icon on the upper left of the screen. Under the backup heading on the right side of the screen, note that the automatic backup feature is currently marked as disabled. Near the top of the page, click on configure automatic backups. In the configure automatic backups dialog window, you are shown a banner with a link to the required prerequisites for backing up to OCI object storage. Check the box to enable automatic backup. We can now select the desired backup retention period. Click on the drop down box and choose one of the preset retention periods of 7, 15, 30, 45, 60 days. The default is 30 days. For our demo, we will select 7 days as our retention period. For the backup scheduling, Click on the drop down box to see your backup window choices. You can choose a two hour scheduling window to control when backup operations begin. If you do not specify a window, the six hour default window of midnight to 6 a.m. in the time zone of the DB systems region is used for your database backup window. For the demo, we will select 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. for our backup window. Click on Save Changes to proceed with enabling automatic backups for our database. On the Database Details page, if we check again under the Backup section, we'll notice that Automatic Backups now has a status of Enabled. You'll also notice that there are a couple more details now visible in the section. The backup retention period we selected of 7 days is reflected and the backup schedule of 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. is also reflected. Shortly after the database is enabled for automatic backups, you will see the initial level zero backup job kick off. The database date will show as backup in progress during this time frame. If you scroll down and click on backups under the resources section on the left rail, you can see the details for the backup job. You can see that it has a name of automatic backup a state of creating, a type of incremental backup initiated by auto backup, uses Oracle managed keys for the encryption key. The start and end field allows you to know when the backup was taken and how long it took to complete. When the backup job completes, you'll note that the state turns to active and that the database state now shows as available. Congratulations on accomplishing the mission of configuring automatic backups for a database on a VMDB system.